sin is is destructive on its nature sin when sin is comes into our life it destroys us sin offers pleasure with the right hand but with the left hand it robs us off of the very thing that we depend on sin never offers anything to our life even though in the beginning it might offer some pleasure in the beginning it might offer some satisfaction but at the end of the day it would always leave us empty broke busted and disgusted in shame and in guilt Adam and Eve they were living in a perfect world it was paradise it was perfection to its finest there was no better place to live than in the garden of Eden but sin came and made a paradise into hell every time we allow sin into our life it will turn our life it will turn our paradise into hell anytime we allow sin into our marriage it will turn a marriage into hell anytime we allow sin in our finances it will destroy our finances anytime sin crawls into our character it will destroy our character or destroy our morals and it will destroy our life we have to understand that sin even though it's enticing and offers pleasure in the beginning at the end it's poisonous and it kills and its goal to separate us for eternity from God number one goal from uh, num number one goal of sin is to separate us ultimately to separate us for eternity from God but if sin fails to separate us from God at the very least he wants to keep us living miserable and keeping us living in hell in this life we have to understand that what sin can do Satan can do when we allow an open door for sin in our lives when we continuously sin when we choose a path of sin this path sin opens a door to Satan whatever sin can do in our lives Satan can do in our lives you have to understand that sin, Satan can't operate in our lives demons unclean spirits can cannot operate in our lives unless there is an open door and that open door is sin and so if we found ourselves in a situation in our life where we see that we are defeated in certain areas or in every area of our life we have to examine our life to see if there is sin lying at our door and like God said to um, Cain he said rule over it take authority over it close the door and we see that in the story of Cain and Abel Cain wasn't able to do that and sin destroyed Cain it destroyed it cast him out of the relationship it cast him out of a family and led him to kill his own brother sin sin is sin is so invasive if you decide to joke with it sin will cost you more than you're willing to pay and will take you further than you want to go and there's a saying that if you give a Satan an inch he will take a ruler we have to be careful in our lives that our life we live in holiness we live in partnership with the Holy Spirit we live with God because with God there is blessing there is healing there is prosperity everywhere where there is sin there is distractions there is robbery and there is death so in our lives if we allowed sin in any area of our life in our marriage in our relationships in our finances in our life in any area of our life we need to make sure to get rid of the root of the sin Re get rid of the consequences of sin by the blood of Jesus Christ and we can live a victorious and blessed life amen